Hello again to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we'll be showing you how to take two routers and add a loopback interface, and then we'll try to ping the loopback interfaces. So we're just adding on to a previous video. In that one we just put in two routers and just pinged each other. Here we're just going to take one step more, add a loopback interface. So it should be pretty fun. Uh, these videos are brought to you by Crypt.com, that's our sponsor, and my employer. So if you need hosting services, Crypt.com. It's Crypt with a K. All right, so we open up GNS3. I've already dragged in my two 2691 routers. I'm going to make a link. I'm going to pick manual, click on a router, fast ethernet 00, fast ethernet 00. Make sure you click off the link button there. All right, so I'm going to make this IP address 1.1.1.1. I'm going to make this 1.1.1.2. And just to make it easier on ourselves, I'm going to add a note to this side by clicking on that icon up there, 1.1.1.1. Click off of that. Click on that notepad icon again, 2. All right. Now that's uh, one way to do it. Another way is you can do 1.1.1.0 slash 24. at the middle there, and then dot one for one side, and dot two for the other side. Both both ways, whether you type in that or you type in that, pretty much mean the same thing. It's just up to your personal preference. So for now, we'll just we'll do it the first way. All right, and then I'm going to add another loopback interface over here, and a loopback interface to the other router. And what a loopback interface is, it's a virtual interface that s sort of simulates, well, it does simulate another network over here. So it's as if we had connected another fast ethernet link, another serial link out here, and uh, we'll see if we can ping it. All right, and to make our life easier for router zero, we're gonna make the loopback interface, oh, let's say for the two dot, Okay, for router 1, I'm going to make that loopback interface, uh, let's just do 3.3.3.3 slash 24. All right, so enough of that. I'm going to start up the routers and open up the consoles. I'm going to pause the video so you don't have to wait that long for everything to come up. All right, we're up and running with our two consoles windows open and the routers are started up. I'm going to minimize the second router. Okay, I've got my first router up going to go through our basic configuration and if you don't know what that is uh, go and look in the previous videos I'm just going to do it without explanation Alt T minus minus zero Alt T minus out Okay, we're going to set up our first Ethernet in interface, well, our, our only Ethernet interface. I'm going to pick fast 0 slash 0, IP address 1.1.1.1, put in our subnet mask, no shut, very important, that's going to get you sometimes. Or when you're first starting out, always forget that no shut. Okay, that interface is coming up. And we're going to set up our loopback, so it's interface, loopback, zero. You can pretty much use whatever number you want, but let's make it easy. Interface loopback zero. That comes up. Notice I didn't have to do no shut because this is a virtual interface. It just starts automatically. Give it an IP address, 2.2.2.1. have to give it a mask. All right. And end on that. Show run. Okay, that's pretty basic. And if we scroll up, there's our loopback, and there's our fast Ethernet interface. You always want to make sure you verify everything you do. So anytime you make a virtual interface, or anytime you do make a routing change, 
you know, you always want to verify it. So another way to do it is, remember we set that alias over here, alias exec s show ip npr. If I hit s, I see my fast ethernet 0 slash 0, and I see my loopback interface. So from the router, I should be able to ping my loopback interface. If I can't, that means I'm in big trouble. And bam, it pings. So good job on router 0. Going to minimize that. Go back to router 1. Over there, go through our basic configuration again. Enable comp t, hostname r1, no IP domain lookup, and column zero, logging synchronous, no exec timeout, exit alias exec s show IP int br. Okay, we're going to do our interface here, interface fast, 0 slash 0, IP address 1.1.1.2. And what do we type here? You guessed it, it's no shut. We're going to go into our loopback interface, interface loopback 0, give it an IP address, 3.3.3, .3 and our subnet mask. And out of there, do a S to show IP and BR. We've got our fast Ethernet and we've got our loopback. Let's see if we can ping our loopback here. Okay, we've got a success. And I should be able to ping the other side. What was the other side? If we move our window here, that's another reason why we uh, put the IP addresses. It makes life a lot easier. So we have the other side of 1.1.1.1. .1 I should be able to ping it. There we go. Okay. Now, what happens, or what do you think will happen, if I try to ping that loopback address? Give you a couple seconds to think there. So I'm on this router, and I'm going to try to ping this loopback address. So what do you think will happen? Okay. Don't tell me, but here we go. What do you think? All right. We'll cut with the suspense right there. We ping it, and you can see that it's not going to work. Why doesn't it work? Well, there's no routing protocol. When we ping it, what happens is the router I'm on has no idea how to get there. So if we do show IP route, so from router 1, I know how to get to 1.0000, .1, which is this interface. That's not a problem. I know how to get to the 3 network because that's where I'm at. That's my loopback address. But I don't know how to get to 2.2.2.1. Got no clue. So in the next video, we'll be implementing router RIP or the RIP protocol. And in future videos, we'll be implementing other protocols that will help us get to that loopback address. But for now, just realize that if you don't have a routing protocol and if you don't have any static route set, you connect two routers, you will not be able to ping that loopback address. And you have to know why, especially in the CCNA and other tests. All right, thanks a lot for another Router Guides video. My name's Humphrey Chung, and I will talk to you later.